Hi, what you see on your screen right now, it's just a bunch of audio connection cables. From time to time on our channel, we get asked, hey, how do I convert this digital cable to this analog cable or this analog cable to this digital cable? Welcome to our channel, all about home electronics, where in this video, we're gonna answer that question using this little device right here. And guess what? It's called a converter. But not only that, we're gonna explain what it can do. We're gonna tell you what it cannot do because a lot of you are gonna wanna know. And we're gonna demonstrate several different variations for the connections. We're gonna get started right after this. For our first example, we're looking at the back side of a television and we're going to zoom in on the audio output connectors. Now in this case, we'd simply plug in our analog red and white RCA cable connectors. Now you can clearly see it's labeled audio output and one of the challenges with this type of signal is that it's only two channel. It's only going to output a right channel and a left channel stereo speaker signal. It will never output a surround sound signal like 5.1. Now the other end of that same RCA cable would plug into the red and white connectors on our black converter box. And because we are converting the analog output from the back of the TV to digital, we need to switch the mode on the back of our black converter box to in. We've rotated our converter box around so that we can see the digital side and you'll notice the toss link has two labels input and output. In this case we're converting the analog signal to a digital output and we would put our toss link connector in there after we've removed the protective cover. Now, if you're not converting to a toss link connector, you could take your digital coaxial cable and plug it in here. This would be depending on what audio equipment you're connecting to. Naturally, don't forget to connect the 5 volt power supply that comes with this converter box. All right, so the final step in this first example is to make the remaining connection with the opposite end of that toss link cable that we uh, connected to the converter box itself. Now, there might be three different types of devices that you would want to hook up to. And in this example here, we're looking at the back of an AVR, uh, a surround sound receiver. You might want to hook it up to a sound bar or some other type of home theater speaker system. So in our example, what we're showing you is how to make the connections. What we're not showing you and what we're not able to show you is why you would want to do this specifically because our example equipment all have sufficient uh, ports for us to make connections without the converter but as we mentioned at the onset of the video, so many questions come into the channel about how to make the conversions because uh, a viewer will have you know, one piece of equipment that has one type of connector and another piece of equipment that doesn't have that same type of connector and they need to convert the audio cable so that it works. Now, another thing to reiterate here is that what we'll do, let's zoom in first. Coincidentally, uh, we have a toss link connector here labeled TV, which is not necessarily material, but we'll use that. And we're going to take the other end of that toss link and we're going to plug it in right here. The toss link cable has the capacity to carry or transmit a 5.1 surround sound signal. However, with this particular conversion example, we're converting that two-channel only RCA analog signal 
over to this toss link signal. So it's going to come in as a two channel PCM signal, um, but never a surround sound type signal. So what we're looking at right now is basically a summary of the connections that we made in our first example. Let's go over the summary, then we can quickly show you the digital to analog conversion method. Now you'll recall we plugged the white and red RCA into the audio out, and then we came into the red-white RCA inputs on our converter, and then we took an optical cable and plug that into the output port with the other end going to an input on the back of our sound device. And we have the switch on the back of the converter set to in on this particular make and model of converter. So let's get into the second method which is converting a digital output to an analog input. The first step we're going to take, and we'll do this all in one frame, we're going to unplug that red-white audio output from the TV and we're going to locate an audio input on the back of our sound system and plug it in there. Now mind you, the other RCA red and white still remain plugged into the converter, but we're going to take that switch and switch it to the B mode because we're converting digital to analog. Now. We're also going to move the toss link to the other port. Make sure it's fully seated like that. And we're going to remove the toss link from the input on the back of our sound system and plug it into audio optical, which this we know is an output. Just line it up and gently push it into place. So in this conversion uh, mode, we have the digital optical going out of the television into the converter. We switch the mode from digital to analog. We're still coming out on these red-white RCAs down into our sound system and going into an input on these red RCAs. So that concludes this video on how to convert digital to analog for any type of audio cable signaling. If you have any questions, please post them in the comments below the video. Here are a few video links we hope you might find useful. If you like this video or it helped you, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe free to our channel. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.